Hello guys, welcome back. Many of you will have worked on Ansible 2 by installing them on any physical server or on any cloud virtual machine. Today in this video, I'll show you how we can set up the Ansible tool in a Docker container. And you'll see a step-by-step -step process of creating your own Docker image and then create container out of that, having the Ansible inside it. So let's start. So let's connect to your Docker server where you have installed your Docker. So if I do Docker images, so I don't have any images available here. So now let's start creating our own Docker file. Let me show you how we can do that. VI. I'm using VI editor to write my Docker file. Okay. So as you know, the Docker file should so start with D uppercase and the file is Docker file without any extension. Hit enter. Let's start the Docker file by writing it from the base image. So from I'm going to install, I'm going to use that container and install the Ansible on one Ubuntu machine. So my, my base image should be the Ubuntu server or Ubuntu operating system, right? So let's do that, Ubuntu. And I'm going to use the version 20.04. Then, so we have to install the Ansible. So before installing the Ansible, let's update the machine. As we are using the Ubuntu operating system, the package manager for Ubuntu is APG, right? So APG, run APG, object, item, yes. And I need to run multiple run commands, right? Instead of writing multiple times the run commands, I can simply pass m% and m% slash, and then I can write the next command to be executed. Like I can give apt install ansible okay yes then once the ansible installed you might need to update or edit some files right configurations files for that you might need a vi editor to be there in the container so for that let's install the vi editor as well for that we have to just use apt install vim right now our VIM is installed. So what we have to do next, as you know, once we install the Ansible, the default path of Ansible will be etc slash Ansible, right? So let's make the working directory of the container to be etc slash Ansible. Okay, so what will happen here? So if we create the image and create container out of that, the container will get exited immediately after creating the container or else you can use type an it option there and you have to pass bin bash to enter inside it and once you come from come out from the container the container will be exited to make sure the container to run constantly or infinitely we can write it here on entry point and execute the sleep command Okay, sleep here. And as you know, if you're really going to use the sleep entry point, then you must have to use the CMD command. Right in CMD command, I'm going to pass the command called infinite. Infinite. Right. So, what we did here from the base image Ubuntu. 20.04 i'm going to update the machine operating system first and then install ansible then install vi editor vim and working directory i changed to etc ansible and then i executed these commands to make the ansible container to awake or off of the time okay now let's save this file okay my docker file is now ready So my docker file is now ready so okay for to do a demo to show you an example of installing something from the container i have created another file which is called the nginx demo.yml so this playbook whatever i have written is it's an example of installing the nginx let me show you this file 
So you can see here, I have given the host as a demo server, okay? And the task I have given to install Nginx server. Here I'm using the DNF module, built-in DNF module to install the Nginx. And then I'm using another module service to start the Nginx service if it is not started. It's a very simple playbook. You can just uh, write it down to do the test whether from the container we are able to execute the playbook and it's able to install the applications on the targeted server or not. Okay. So as we have prepared this file, right, the playbook, we need to copy this one to the container. So let's edit the Docker file again. So what we have to do in the Docker file, let's use the module copy module to copy the playbook to the containers folder. Using copy module. Touch demo. And then just copy to etc ansible folder. So I am here just copying the file into the ansible folder. You can copy to any of the folder to the container and then from there you can execute the playbook. Okay, so that's all. So let's uh, okay here what you can do. Uh, let's click hyphen yes. Yeah, so all done. Now let's just save this file and let's build the image. Okay, so to build the image, what we can do, we can just use Docker build hyphen t tag and give the account or the image name. So in my case, I'm just providing my registry account here uh, that is Regit Swing. Then I'll just give a name to that. Suppose I'll give us Ansible and I'll provide a tag as 1.1. As my Docker file is in the current context or in the current folder, so I provide it dot here. So it will find this Docker file and execute it. So hit enter. So you can see here, I have uh, uh, six steps in that file and it's just executed one after another. Okay, so just hold on and wait for some time. Let it complete, then we'll proceed. Okay, so it has completed successfully. Now we can see it has created one image called Ranjit Swine Ansible colored 1.1. So if I do Docker image ls, we'll see we have two images now. The base image also been downloaded as part of the Docker file. And on top of that, the layers it added and created our own image that is the Ranjit Swine slash Ansible and the tag 1.1. And this is a image ID. So our Ansible image has been created now. So now let's go ahead and create a container out of that. So we have to write Docker and write container run and type MT in detached mode, give a name to it because I'll be with this Ansible. And then what we can do, we can provide the image name. So the image name is Ranjit Swain slash Ansible colon 1.1. So what I did here, I just simply used docker container run command and detached mode name Ansible and provided the image name here. So let's hit enter. So you can see here, it has now created one container and provided the hash ID. Right? If I do docker ps hyphen or you can just do docker container ls hyphen a, it will give us the image which has recently created 16 seconds ago and it's up that means the container is up and running so now let's go and connect to this container so we can execute the command docker exit hyphen it and provide the container id or the name so i'll provide it as the name ansible and just execute the command bin pass so here it is, you can see here, now we can able to connect and enter inside the container. As you can see here, when we entered inside the container, the working directory is given as etc ansible. So if I do ls-l, so we have 
this particular Ansible.csg file and host file created as part of the Ansible installations. Also, we have copied the nginx demo.yml file from our local host to container. Right. So let's modify this ansible.csg file and host file as for to do the demo to do check whether the container ansible container is working perfectly or not. Let me just uh, edit the ansible csg file first. As everything is commented here, let me just uncomment this inventory file, inventory line to make sure that inventory file is host, right? So I'm going to use the same default inventory file that is the host. Let me open this file and let's delete whatever things there in the file. And let me add a group it's called as demo server okay i created a group name as demo server and i need to provide the ip address of the node or the machine where you want to execute the playbook right so let's capture it from the demo server here i can capture it. this is the server where i'm just going to execute right let's paste it here okay so one more thing guys um whatever the docker demo whatever the Docker file I was showing you, right? There were a few commands were there, right? In the Docker file, there are few commands I was showing. So those commands you can find it over from the Docker file reference. There is a there is a Docker docs.docker.com, which is the official website, official page of the Docker.com, where you can find all command details and how you can execute this. So here is the Docker file reference where you can see here all the commands so from command run command right i use the copy command so all these commands you can see it over here and you can just follow this reference and follow how it has been written and same thing you can write in your docker file so if you have any doubt or anything just follow these documentations and get the help from there uh the reference whatever they have okay all commands details you can find it over here hope it is okay for you now let's go there and check okay so the i added the post file as well as updated the ansible.cmc file now let's do a ping to the server as i just added one server to make sure that the server is running so this server i added created a group so let's ping whether it is working or not from the container so if i do ansible hyphen m ping Let's do it all. Yes. Okay. So what is each? Uh, it's unreachable, right? So permission denied. So like, like it seems like we don't have permissions from the container from Ansible the server to connect to this particular server. So how we can do that? Let's create the public key and share between the servers. So to do that. Let's go to your root folder. Okay, so I am into the root folder. Let's go to the directory SSH directory. So here you would have the it underscore rsh dot pop file. If it is not there, you can just have to do SSH hyphen key gen okay, SSH hyphen key gen to generate the key file. So now I use the SSH keychain and the default I gave everything as default and enter it entered. So it created two files. One is it underscore rsh.pop and the other one is the it underscore rsh. This is the private key file and this is the public key file. And we need this public key file to be shared with the server. So let's open this public key file. Let's just do cat and we'll find this entire public key and then log in to the server where you want to connect right so i have logged into that server now let's uh make yourself as root so the su go to the root directory of that server here go to the ssh folder and we'll have one authorized key authorized on this key file right just open this authorized on this key file and paste the key so paste the key whatever you had copied now now let's save this one after copy save this one so the file is now saved the public key has been shared with the server now if we go to the etc ansible okay we have this 
required files. Now you can execute the command from anywhere. Okay? That doesn't matter. But I went uh, to it is the Ansible folder. Now if I do Ansible, right? Type in M, then ping module. Let's have it all. See, now we can successfully connect to the server from the Ansible container. Now, so here is the simple ping command. Now let's, we have this nginx demo.yaml file. Okay, so let's execute this yaml file or execute this playbook. Okay, to execute this playbook, I have to use Ansible playbook command and then the file name. Let's hit enter. See, it's just getting installed. So task install is changed and it started the service. Now you can see here it has now installed the nginx server. You can see it has two changed. Changed two. Now let's check whether the nginx server has been installed or not. So to do check, we can just do system ctl status nginx on the server where the Ansible playbook executed. Let's check. Okay, okay, there is spelling mistake. We have to use system CTL status nginx. Yeah, see here we can able to see the nginx server is running. Now to verify in the browser whether the server can be accessible or not to the browser. So what you have to do, you have to just get the IP address of that server where nginx is installed and put your browser test it here see our nginx server is up and running and we can able to access the server the welcome page welcome to nginx hope you understood clearly how we can create ansible container and how we can execute a playbook from the container and install all the required tasks in the required servers if you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your queries. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now so that you get notified when I add more videos on my channel. Please give me suggestions if you want to see any particular videos or particular technologies. Thank you.